We're going to talk about four different greetings, even though you only have to know the first three for the test. The first is hello. Most of you probably already know this word, but just in case, the word is bonjour. Bonjour. It literally means good day. <clears throat> it's a compound word, just like in English. We have bon, which means good, and jour, which means day. So we just smash them together into one word. Bonjour. There are two tricks to pronouncing this word. The first is that O-N in the bon. It's a nasal sound, which means the air is going to come from your nose rather than your mouth. In order to achieve this, you have to curl up your tongue in the back of your mouth to force the air up. That's what actually makes that nasal sound, the bon. If you put your hand in front of your face as you say it, you should be able to feel where the air is coming from. If it's coming from your mouth, you don't quite have it yet. If it's coming from your nose, then you know you're doing it correctly. It should not sound like the English word bone. Bonjour is not a word. Bon. Don't freak out if you can't get it immediately. It tends to take a good deal of practice. Bonjour. Bonjour. The other part of this word that is actually a little bit optional is that final R. You'll notice a lot of the times when I say this word, I say bonjour. Bonjour. You don't really hear the R sound very much. It's much more common in the southern half of France to pronounce it that way. In the northern half, or if you live in the south and just feel like it, you can emphasize the R much more. Bonjour doesn't matter which. Pick one and go with it. Our second greeting is the word hi. Just a simple, friendly hi. The word in French is salut. Salut. Note that we do not pronounce that final T. We'll talk about this a little bit later on in class, but there are only a very few letters that we pronounce when they show up at the ends of words, and T is not one of them. So for right now, just pretend it's there for decoration, and we're going to ignore it when we say it. Salut. That's it. This is an informal greeting, meaning that you should not use it with anyone with whom you need to be formal. That is, anyone to whom you need to show respect. Typically, when we determine informal and formal in French, the easiest way to do it is based on age. If they're about your age or younger, feel free to be informal. If they're obviously older or in a position of authority, such as being a teacher or a principal, someone like that, then you need to stick to only formal words. You could not say salut to Mr. Pretz, for example. The third one that you're required to know is good evening. If we look up at bonjour, we see that it was literally good day. So all we have to do for good evening is switch out the word day for evening. Bonsoir. Exact same good, bon and bon. So make sure that you're pronouncing that nasal as best you can at least. Then we're going to switch out jour, meaning day, for soir, meaning evening. The key to pronouncing this is that O-I. The O-I combination in French will always make a wa sound. Bonsoir. Hear how it kind of sounds like a W? Soir. It's a very, very important rule. You will see this all throughout French. It's a very common letter combination. So be absolutely sure that you remember this pronunciation tip. We only use bonsoir after about 5 p.m. Basically, once people start getting off work and start thinking about dinner, no one really sits and like stares at their watch to check what time it is before they say something, but you will look very ridiculous if it's like 10 o'clock at night and you're saying bonjour. Listen for when people around you switch and you'll be fine. The last one, another way to say hi, is not going to be required on the test, but I feel it's an important and fun one to learn anyway. The word is cuckoo. Cuckoo. Just like the clock. Cuckoo. 
This is extremely informal. It's about the same level as slang. So you must be especially careful not to mix this up with more formal greetings like bonjour. Be very careful with whom you say coucou. It should only be a good friend, a good family member, someone much younger than you. You need to be very certain before you use this one. All right, so these are the four greetings which we're going to cover. You're required to know bonjour, salut, and bonsoir. You can use cuckoo if you want, but it won't show up on the test. 